and hello again and I'm going to talk about Argentina because Argentina has a lot of things going on. I never had uh, good opinions from Argentinians. Why? Because they, from history recorded, the Argentinians voted for socialism and leftism for more than half of a century. <clears throat> Not making that up. There is this war called Kirchnerism. Kirchnerism comes from the Kirchners, which, which were a bunch of politicians that enacted a lot of the socialist ideas that you see replicated in a lot of countries, especially in Europe. When it comes to the, uh, these secu social and security programs that they just made the country's economy so fucking worse. They had a lot of fucking inflation. That's uh, that's no news. And all, is be all of this is because of their policies. And that half of a country is just fucking leftist. But this year they really get changed my mind. They did some good stuff by voting anti-establishment a real libertarian and this libertarian said we're going to privatize a lot of fucking industries that they were just using a lot of fucking money from the governments or should i say their taxpayer money because you have things like the airports a lot of these public agencies that they just leech a lot of money and private companies that they really like to pri privatize the, the gain and socialize the lost. So now we have this headline. Union, Argentina unions prepared for a Porte Millet's plan of in the pri privatization. So I translated the best at school because yeah, this WhatsApp even among Spanish he just reads fucking nonsense. Buenos Aires. It's going to be six tough months. The the adjust we are going to have to make and and the, the measures were necessary measures were going to take to the ones who post. The, in this Wednesday, the elected president Javier Milei, in which is considered a open threat by leftists, of course, the is just leftists, and the UN and all these OGNs, uh, uh, something hilarious where uh, I saw was when. The current president from El Salvador, Javier Bukele, he just fucking humiliated the Colombian president. When the Colombian president went just bitching on Twitter about how he's a left, uh, he's going to destroy the country and, and some shit, and then Bukele said, now say it without crying. <laughs> I was hilarious. And in this case, again, it's a threat for the left establishment. So let's continue with the article. In moments in which many unions between the Argentina airlines, yeah, the airlines, uh, what I mentioned it, with this, this, this whole privatizing deal, Millet is proposing, and he's going to do, is just companies that got mismanaged a fucking lot, and they were just bailed out over and over again by taxpayer money. He's just saying, no, you have to take this for yourself. 
You have to make this profitable. You are not going to depend from taxpayer money on this shit. You are going to do it. And the unions are just fucking mad because they just leashed a lot of fucking money. So let's continue. The union we, uh, from the Construction and Com General Confederation of Work, or I am reading in Spanish, Construcción y la Confederación General del Trabajo, CGT, CGT, you know, that's how it is called, mm, protested in the other um, to, to the announcing that the next government will not continue with the public labor even if it's already stated to give to private hands so giving to the people that to, to the workers to the people that yeah this is to you not from the government and should be managed correctly if she's going to go broke well it's your problem not the government that you really you want to use to bail them out through the taxpayer money fuck no to, and just going to continue, which supposed a wave of unemployment that will increase the social crisis. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, uh, nah. I have very strong opinions when it comes to unions, and I, I cannot say it on YouTube with the, the way I would like to say it. But I'm just going to give you the nicest one. The unions are just another mafia. A mafia that breach from companies. I first handed treated with them. It was just a straight dog shit. They couldn't let me work. Funny enough, imagine this. A unions works workforce. In a company dedicated to mine gold and silver. That was a outsourcing job. I I went. I I actually was just on a specific job. Like I had uh, three or four four years ago. I go to the mine. I need to fill the whole ordeal that it needs to be done. To be possible for me to come in to come in and do the work I was just hired. The problem is, well, the problem I had with this fucking union, they they were not working <laughs> because those fuckers were just protesting because the change of government. They were protesting because the government said, you know, since you fucking union were with another political party, you are just going to lose all your privileges. Go fuck yourself. Uh, in order to, to blackmail this company and every single worker, they were protesting. And since they were so attached to the fucking human resource staff, it took me a month just to gain sight mine and finish Finish a one day job. I'm not making that up. That's why I fucking hate unions. And this is the same case. Argentina has the same fucking problem with unions. They are just another mafia from the mafia. So let's continue. The headlines of Radio Nacional, TV Pública, RTA, or oh, should I say. National Radio and Public TV, Talam, and the management from Public Contents, ah, uh, fucking, lot of agencies, pointed out that the pu public mediums are essential for the growing of democratic life, free expression, uh, we're already having two fucking lies here, the, the <laughs> Stupid. The diversity of voices. Yeah, because you know what this leftist statement diversity is so strange. Am I right? And and city construction. 
Te backlash pro tu, in backlash to the uh, privatization announcement. The Federal in, International Federation of Journalists. Something like this is this? Oh fucking hell. <laughs> So, organizations that operate in 140 countries and are around 600,000 journalists rejected the declarations from the elected president about the privatization of public media. So, they want to label this when you see this word medios públicos or public mediums you could translate it as public resources they're using this to say and yeah you they want to privatize your natural resources first of all no the government is just hand rooted in a lot of resources they d do they push for a lot of fucking regulations and those regulations these unions are just managing that Because the, the way how the unions operate in Argentina, just like in a lot of uh, Latin American countries and, and a lot of European countries, is they they have this mafia that wants to portray them as the savior of the workforce. All while they are just taking away res money and resources for enrich themselves while having that safe face that uh, yeah, they are just doing a good job protecting people's rights uh, when they go to work. So there's a fucking life. And the fact that something like this exists, yeah, journalists is now the next war for activists. So let's continue. So uh, even that, they affirm that they are going to support the local unions of the sector in defense of, this is in quotes, the access to information and employment. You don't, at this point, protection laws for workers, they are just so well-defined enough to do not need a fucking union. But well... We are, this is Argentina we are talking about, where they had a lot of fucking socialist ideas, uh, laws, social thinking, that they crippled their own country. And they are trying to defend that. Javier Milei is just going to erase a lot of fucking public organizations that are just leeching monies. And I, and I love the first one he's going to delete is the... Feminist Ministry of Women, which takes more than 10% of the GPI. Even they protested in solidarity to affiliates to the Argentina Federation of Workers, Press Workers, so journalists again. Another journalist organized federation with Different name. <laughs> Fucking nonsense, man. And the un press union. <laughs> How many unions I just mentioned here? Uh, uh, <laughs> of Buenos Aires, Cipreva. In the fight to defend the access to public information and employment. No, sorry, I read that already? I, I, I think I already read that. In the case of privatization of the Argentina Airlines that got rescued from a, well, from a previous privatization. Ah, uh, yeah, they is defending that, yeah, they got bailed out even though they got zombies managed. Now imagine with banks, that's why Javier Miller wants to delete the Central Bank of Argentina because they are just fucking nonsense, they are just... They, I'm responsible for inflation. So I already ranted too much. So no. For, from the ex-president -pres Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner. 
well, the uh, fucking hope that put it put the country in a lot of difficult situations. Well, more than that, they already were there during her government. The general secretary of the association of pilots, the of the airline air force, Pablo Biro. That's how it's called. Told in the morning that in they were trying to uh, uh, try, they were trying again to privatize, and they were going to end it. Of course, they were going to end it. They mismanaged it so fucking hard. But then later she, he clarified he clarified that is not a a very happy phrase. And affirmed that it will defend the continuity of the company, Ironactic Company, from the flag. Uh, so, the, that's, to not make this more long that already is. So, companies, in this case, the airline, the airlines of Argentina, they mismanaged a lot of resources. They got bailed out so fucking so many times that they're just they're just not profitable. They are losing money day by day, and they are keep bailing out to from the taxpayer money. And where it's not enough taxpayer money, they are just printing tons of tons of money to keep it alive. It's it's in life support. They isn't in terminal stage. The thing that could benefit Argentina at this point is just some private company to buy it. And yeah, I know that's something that even I could have my doubts because the, you don't want a tiny hat that just like the ones that are destroying Europe to take that in charge. But the thing is, they need, there must be someone capable enough to make it profitable and make it work. And it should not depend from the government to keep it alive. Because by doing that, you are keeping in positions of, of control the same ones that put them in that critical condition in the first place.